receiving a new pair of headphones, decides to take a stroll. Woodrow dances and prances through the woods as happy as can be. Upon his stroll, Woodrow spots a trail of ants. Difficult to see, Woodrow uses his magnifying glass to observe the bugs. Woodrow notices that the trail stretches deep into the forest and decides to follow it. The ant trail was much longer than expected, so Woodrow stops off by the creek for a quick drink. While Woodrow is at the creek, he feels something wipe his neck, followed by a boo. Woodrow, scared out of his wits, splashes into the creek. Woodrow holds his breath for as long as he can before swimming up to take a peek. Woodrow looks around and nothing is there. Maybe it was a talking bug or perhaps just air. After a few miles, Woodrow reaches a giant anthill. Woodrow is impressed and tries to take a glance inside. As Woodrow gets closer, a queen ant jumps on his nose. The queen ant shouts, Don't be scared, Mr. Bear. We need your help. Could you bring us food? Woodrow, with honor, accepts his request and rushes to his favorite fruit bushes and brings the ant colony hundreds of berries for feasting. The queen ant, delighted, crawls back into the anthill and brings Woodrow a golden key. Woodrow, surprised, holds the key to his nose and examines it. The queen ant tells Woodrow the key is to a secret shed in the near distance and wishes him luck. Woodrow rushes, searches, and locates the shed, but struggles with the lock. Woodrow tries to climb the delicate roof and falls through the ceiling. Woodrow shakes off the dirt and realizes that he is surrounded by a small pack of trapped baby dinosaurs. Woodrow, with his special key, unlocks their cages. One of the dinosaurs gives Woodrow a piece of paper. Woodrow, with honor, accepts his new task and runs with the dinosaurs on his back, staring at the map. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you next time. Remember, look for the stars.